Hi everyone, so today is going to be a natural cosmetics haul um, and kind of just a progress report about where I am on my journey to become toxic free for my beauty and skincare products. What I basically have done is I prioritized which products I use the most frequently and went ahead and got rid of the products that had chemicals in them. For example, I've completely gotten rid of all my body lotions with toxins in them and the same goes for my nail polish and also the SPF for my skincare and also for my body. Those are the three products that I use the most frequently. Now I'm going to start transitioning into toxic free cosmetics. Um, I don't wear makeup every single day, like on the weekends, you know, I try not to wear makeup. And when I do, I don't wear a ton of makeup, but I still use it and I feel that it's important, especially for the basics like mascara and lip product and blush, that I have toxic-free options. I would say that I'm about 50% toxic-free right now for my cosmetics. For example, all my lip balms and my lip products, uh, they don't have parabens in them, they're all fragrance-free. And also um, all of the powder that I use is mineral based. So there are some products that I still have though that do contain toxins. So I purchased a couple of mascara options today. And then also um, for blush, I actually thought I was purchasing a blush that didn't have talc in it, but it turns out that I purchased a blush with talc in it. And I'll kind of explain um, what happened with that. But, and also I really want to work on getting my lipsticks um, toxic free. I saw a segment on the news about uh, lead in lipstick and that pretty much freaked me out. I mean, I don't want to be ingesting lead. So I really want to transition out of my mainstream lipsticks. But I find it really hard to find lipsticks for some reason that are toxic free. So I went to Sephora today and I did a little well, I tried to do a little toxic-free cosmetics haul. Um, it was a little bit more difficult than I thought it would be because I did purchase one or two items that I thought at the time didn't have toxins in them, and then I took them home and I read the ingredients up close and realized that I kind of messed up. <laughs> so, um, but I did find a couple of good things. So if you were watching my SPF video, at the very end I talked about the Josie Moran SPF 40 Argon Oil um, Daily Moisturizer. So I actually have it right here. Um, they didn't have the moisturizer by itself at my Sephora. They just had this little sample I got. It has the cleansing oil and the moisturizer, but I nabbed it up because I really wanted to try this. So I already swatched it on my arm. And if you were watching my last video, I wasn't sure if it was going to be a serum or an actual daily SPF moisturizer because from the image on the bottle on the website, it kind of looked like a serum bottle. But either way, I wanted to get it because I wanted a higher SPF. So this is actually a moisturizer, which I'm thrilled about because that's what I wanted for under my foundation. And it has a light consistency. It blends easily. So... I think that's my new um, chemical free moisturizer. So what I did is um, I purchased a mascara which turned out um, to have an ingredient in there that isn't the best ingredient to have. I'm actually quite disappointed in this brand. Um, the brand is Tarte. I was under the impression because Sephora puts them under their natural category on their website that they were a toxic free brand. So from the Tarte line, um, I purchased a blush that I thought was gonna be talc free, but I took it home and actually <laughs> it has talc in it. Um, the reason I thought it was gonna be talc free is because it says Amazonian clay on the front packaging. So um, I pretty much thought that that was their substitution for talc. Look on the back, it says it's formulated without mineral oil, parabens, petroleum, phthalates, sodium lauryl sulfate, synthetic fragrance. But unfortunately, um, the first ingredient on here is talc. So I kind of messed up on that one. But the other thing that I bought from Tarte, which I really have wanted to try for a while, is the Lights Camera Lashes. 
And I've just been recently researching uh, mascara ingredients because I heard a while back about um, a potential carcinogen in mascara. And that carcinogen um, is called triethanolamine. It's abbreviated TEA, but you usually see it on the ingredients list as triethanolamine because I don't think they want to abbreviate it as TEA. Maybe that would be a little more obvious that it's a toxin. So I just, for some reason, thought this was going to be a toxic-free mascara because it has nice little pretty um, writing on the side. It says the skin invigorating ingredients are rice bran wax, carinuba wax, pro-vitamin B5, olive esters, mineral pigment. So I saw minerals, I saw, you know, olive esters. I don't know, I just thought it was toxic-free. And then, of course, on the back, it also said it's formulated without parabens, mineral oil, petrol petroleum, phthalates, sodium lauryl sulfate. So if only they could have left out TEA, um, that would have been wonderful. Um, I went on the EWG website when I got home, and I believe it has a rating of a 4. So my goal is to get my cosmetics um, between a 1 and a 3 for toxicity level. So this will definitely not be a repurchase. Um, I did go to CVS too, and I found this, uh, it's a physician's formula brand. It's an organic wear. I think it's a new line for them. But this is actually 100% free. It doesn't have TEA. Um, it just has all non-toxic ingredients, so it lived up to its promise. It was only $9.99 compared to the $19 I just paid for a mascara with TEA. So you live and you learn, I guess. Um, what I also did discover while I was trying to find out the toxicity for the Tarte mascara was I ran across on the very first page when I typed in mascaras, um, the Jane Iredell mascara had only a one. So I was kind of excited about that because um, I've heard of the Jane Iredell brand before. I purchased an eyeliner from them, but I wasn't aware that Jane Iredell actually um, is a toxic free beauty line so when I saw the one rating for the mascara I was like oh, okay you know I know that brand and I just went on their website and I'm excited to try more of their products especially since I want to get a um, chemical free foundation but I have combination oily skin and I find that it's hard to get a toxic free um, foundation that doesn't have some sort of oil in it, or it, maybe it's just too light of coverage for me. So on the Jane Iredell website, um, they say that none of their products have, they're not formulated with oil, talc, uh, FD&C dyes. And those are the dyes that you typically see um, in lipsticks, red 40, yellow 30, blue 10, or whatever you know the exact um, numbers are. And no parabens and no synthetic fragrances for Jane Iredell. So I'm definitely going to purchase some of the items that I need for my non-toxic, um, to complete my non-toxic cosmetic collection. I'm definitely going to try out their foundation because they don't use oils. And also try some of their um, blush products because they don't have talc in them. So I'm excited to try those products. And the last item I picked up at Sephora today was a cleanser. Um, like I said, my skin is oily combination, so I use a lot of cleansers with salicylic acid in them. I also use a, retin or a retinol treatment at night, and sometimes I kind of go a little overboard on those products and I end, up, I end up drying on my skin. So I ran across this soothing foaming cleanser from Jurlique and I was excited about this because I need something a little less harsh uh, when I overdo it on my products just to tone it down for a day or two. So that was my haul on the natural cosmetics and um, so stay tuned for more updates and I hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you have any other suggestions for uh, oil-free, toxic-free foundations and some lipstick brands that are toxic-free, uh, please let me know from my Twitter page. And you can also check out my website, lahealthnav.com, for special recipes, uh, more natural beauty tips, and general advice on nutrition.